Welcome to another uh, chili pepper tasting with your YouTube person, Chili Tip. And we've got an interesting one from my garden today um, called the Billy Goat Chili. And if you have a look, it's not very big. It's a pretty kind of orangey red. And um, the shape almost like a little scotch bonnet, but a little more pointy. And the pictures I saw on the internet actually differ from mine. Um, mine, as you see, is real nubbly and gnarly. Um, and my research shows that that's maybe not quite how they usually are, so I don't know if I've got a different plant or if um, I just got a weird one. <laughs> but supposedly they got their name Billy Goat Chili because they have the aroma of um, like a musty Billy Goat. And that doesn't sound super appetizing to me, but we have to know. The quest for chili and my enlightenment, if need be, will go through the butt of a Billy Goat right here and now. Take the top off of this little guy. Go ahead and split him open. There's not much uh, of an opening there to speak of. Uh, a couple seeds fell out. There we go. Ah. You see it? There we go. It's cute. <laughs> it's a little. I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't really deeply smelled the Billy Goat, but it is a little musty, like, or musky, you know, it's not bad, but it, it is a little funky, but only a little. It also has, like, a pretty significant tendency um, aroma as well. Yeah, <laughs> it is a little musty. Again, I don't really know about a goat in particular, but I can see that. Interesting. Um, yeah. Cheers, um, you too. Mmm. Okay. It is like musky and funky. It's kind of sweet, but. Huh. I like it, but it is an unusual taste. And it's also kind of sweet and kind of tangy. That's a really cool pepper, actually. I like that a lot. It almost tastes a little... <clears throat> almost tastes a little bit like pomegranate. Um, ever so slightly. Like a cross between a pomegranate and, 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 and a goat. <laughs> uh, it's hard to describe, honestly. But, but it is nice. It's super different. You know, I get tired of sitting here saying tenancy taste, tenancy taste. It's nice to have something that really doesn't bear tenancy taste at all. It smells a little bit like it, but it doesn't, to me, have that stereotypical pepper taste. It does have a musky funkiness to it. And it's pretty pronounced sweetness. A little bit tart. But at, at the aftermath, it, um, it does taste, it reminds me of pomegranate. I like that. And as far as heat, I'd put this about chili piquin, I think, shadow uh, roja, um, come to mind, maybe, um, it builds up pretty good though, um, it's not, it's, it's small too, but I wouldn't put this on a par with a habanero exactly, maybe on the lower, lower, lower ranges of that, but it's definitely higher in Serrano. But yeah, I'd put it in the same neighborhood as a maybe a, a very hot chili piquin. Uh, a very hot um oh, a very hot shadow roja. Um that's rocha. Dang. Yeah, I'm gonna get that right one of these days. Shadow or rocha. Anyway, we're talking about this one. Uh yeah, if you should happen upon seeds for this pepper, um it's pretty good. I like that. Super interesting, super different. It's got a pretty nice little kick, but it's nothing crazy. Like, this is one you could sit and eat out of hand, you know, without uh, it getting out of hand. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that one. And for once, on the twist of Tony Enlightenment, I wasn't uh, killed. It was just a really nice, fresh uh, pepper tasting. It was very good. Yeah, I would definitely recommend growing these. And I, I could think of some interesting ways to use them, um, I think. That would make a very interesting uh, addition to a sangria. 
along with some cheddar rosa. Or maybe you could also put that in a fruit salad. Um, I think that would be interesting. Uh, but it's a pepper that I think would pair pretty well with dessert applications because it is sweet. And it tastes very, very nice. Um, yeah, good time. A quieter journey this time on the path to Chilean enlightenment, but a journey nonetheless. And now we know what we need to know about the billy goat. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, stick with me all pepper season long. I'm going to keep trying new peppers, new pods, keep trying hot sauce. I'm going to explore the space, so to speak. And uh, I'm really chasing that dream of Chilean enlightenment. And I uh, appreciate you coming with me. So click like, click subscribe, uh, click the bell, and we'll be back with even more well, you know, hot stuff. Until it's done.